Hey guys, today we are in Goldmark 7 and I just want to share with you some information that uh, I got over here. Um, it's about the air condition in this car. So this morning I've noticed that the temperature on the left side was lower than on the right side. Uh, actually I had this set to about 20 degrees Celsius and outside temperature was 25 or 26. So the cold air as expected was getting out from here, but there was a hot air output over there on the passenger side and uh, my initial thought was uh, that the temperature flaps the temperature motor um, regulation flaps are um, are responsible for this so i took apart this uh, cover that was over here as well as the one on the right side of course i performed the adaptation first which you can do by press and hold of the ac button and the front vent and waiting about 30 seconds but um, that uh, uh, that doesn't uh, fix my issue so next i took apart those covers and checked if those uh, those motors are actually um, uh, okay if they are not stuck or jammed or broken but they are all right So my next thought was maybe the refrigerant is uh, low, the pressure in the AC system may be dropped, maybe there's a leak. So I've used OBD11 and uh, actually there is pressure which varies a little bit when I turn the AC on and off. But when the AC is on, I don't see the idle speed spike, it should go from um, 800 to 1000 about and I should hear the um, fan in the uh, engine bay at higher speed which is not happening so maybe the AC compressor is not turning on but actually it is because I had some cold air on the left side so that would be impossible if the air compressor was not working also right now if I press the AC button you can see my current consumption which is um, 05 liter of diesel per hour if I press the AC button you can see that this goes up by about uh, 0.2 sometimes 0.3 so the AC compressor is on there's actually an additional load on the engine which you can see here in the fuel consumption so um, what's next I believe that one of two things is happening over here either the uh, AC refrigerant is actually low which I don't think is the case because I can see the um, refrigerant pressure with the diagnostic tool and it's, uh, it's about right or the um, expansion valve over here is stuck or broken or jammed or dirty or needs to be replaced it's positioned, uh, it's positioned over there behind this heat shield So there's the valve and I believe it needs to be replaced. Most likely it jammed. So this causes this co this is causing the issues that I'm experiencing over here. Um, hopefully it will be an easy fix. So this valve is not expensive. Uh, still you need to drain the system, the AC system uh, uh, to be completely empty. Then you can uh, remove those two hoses. Uh, which are fairly, fairly good, uh, have fairly good access over here, um, uh, considering how packed is this engine bay. And after that, you need to fill the AC system back and check if that helped. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. In the description below this video, I will leave some additional information for anyone who's interested in it. And that's it for today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, it's not a tutorial my inside thoughts 
vlog and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.